You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. There was another fire early this morning in southwest Baltimore. No one was hurt. The fire was at a vacant home on Gilmore Street, so that makes 19 fires in that same neighborhood in less than two weeks, including one yesterday morning, less than a half a mile away from this one on McHenry Street. And that McHenry Street fire happened in the same building where another fire happened last week. Police have arrested two men. They have charged each of them in connection with one of the fires. Fire crews have confirmed that five of the 19 are cases of arson. The rest of them, they are still under investigation. Baltimore County Police are expected to release new details today on the discovery of a body at a recycling facility earlier this week. The body found Tuesday at the county recycling plant off Beaver Dam Road in Cockeysville on a conveyor belt. Police on Wednesday said that person may have been murdered. WMR2 News' Brian Kubler is reporting that the body had been wrapped in a tarp. The state medical examiner, though, still has not made an official ruling on whether this is a homicide case. No identification on the body just yet, but that large recycling plant serves all of Baltimore County as well as Hartford and Cecil counties. Short week for the Baltimore Ravens. They're looking to win their 10th game in a row tonight at M&T Bank Stadium and Lamar Jackson says he will play against the New York Jets tonight. Now if the Ravens win this game, they'll clinch the AFC North Division title. On the official injury report, Lamar Jackson is listed as questionable and he was limited in practice twice this week, but he says he hurt his quad on that 61 yard touchdown pass to Hayden Hurst against the Bills on Sunday. Monday, head coach John Harbaugh said he was day to day, but the injury was nothing serious. Then Tuesday, Lamar Jackson spoke with the media and he said he would play. No reason to be limited in tonight's game. Lamar Jackson leads the NFL in touchdown passes this season with 28, and he only needs 23 more rushing yards to break the all-time record for rushing yards by a quarterback and pass Michael Vick. Fans all over the country have been watching Lamar Jackson make defenders look silly all season long. Jets defensive players have been seeing those videos too. Just a hell of a player. Um, he's a competitor, um, a guy that, you know, uh, obviously came into the league that a lot of people didn't believe in. And now they believe in him. Um, is he going to win MVP? For sure. Yeah, and that's going to be a tough challenge for the Jets to try to slow him down tonight. Some other key injuries, though, for the Ravens. Mark Andrews, the tight end, is listed as questionable. He hurt his knee on Sunday, and it is doubtful that the left tackle, Ronnie Stanley, is going to play. He's got a concussion, was out of practice all week this week. Kickoff scheduled for 8-20 tonight at M&T Bank Stadium. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Thursday, everyone. On this Thursday, we are looking at below average temperatures this morning, this afternoon, a mostly sunny sky, and then the rain will move back in as we work our way in through your Friday into the beginning of the weekend. In terms of the future cast, yeah, it's been chilly this morning because we've had a light breeze out there. That'll stick around a little bit as we go throughout the afternoon as well. I'm forecasting a high today right around 39 degrees, so we will struggle to get to about 40 degrees for today, but we will have plenty of sunshine out there. A few clouds mixing in from time to time. If you're headed out to the Ravens game, I need you to bundle up because we are under a purple layer alert. 32 degrees is going to be the, the temperature to start, I should say, at 820. And of course, those numbers are going to go back down as we go through game time. As we work our way in through your Friday, we will increase the cloud cover a bit. And then we also introduce that rain as we work our way in through your Saturday and then much drier as we head towards Sunday. But Christian, if if the people don't do the purple layer alert, they will be purple. Oh, <laughs> we don't want to see that, but we do want to see a Ravens win at MT Bank Stadium tonight. Stay warm out there. That's all the time we have for now. Stick with us online at WMR2news.com all day long. We got updates on top stories and breaking news all day. And for news weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. It's got live radar, and you can set up breaking news alerts to come straight to your phone or tablet. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR 2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.